Welcome back, everyone. This is day four of five rhythms in five days, but it's actually technically 27 rhythms in four days because I realized today you're not getting one, but 10 rhythms and days one, two, and three had more than one rhythm in them. If you've watched them already, you'll know what I mean. If you miss them, you definitely want to check them out. So the featured pattern of today is nine, eight slip jig. So you're actually going to get 10 variations. And in my Keepers of the Rhythm course, which is geared to levels two, three, and four, where platinum level one is more ge geared to raw beginners and kind of intermediate players. So those links to those courses are down below here. But today, I'm going to give you 10 rhythms from stage two of my slip jig intensive. And I think I have seven stages inside the course. But this one is going to focus on the accent on, on one and seven. It's going to have some triplets in there, some variations between double downs and alternating sticking, upstroke accents, really great variety, including my favorite go-to 9-8 slip jig pattern, which you definitely want to have up your sleeve. So remember day, on day two, I cover how to slow down a YouTube video and give you the notation uh, cheat sheet. So you want to check that out if you're watching day four for the first time you, you missed the other days. So without further ado, here we go with day four. In stage two, we are focusing on putting the accents on the first and seventh eighth notes of our 9-8 jig time. And the first five exercises will have a little rest after the first beat. And then instead of uh, accenting the second of down, down, we're just gonna go down, tap. So the second, the beat after the rest is gonna be a little bit softer. In number one, uh, you're going to have a little tap down. So crossing the bar line, you're gonna have a double down. So let's try number one of stage two at 100 beats per minute. One, two, three, go, two, three, down, down. Number two is alternating. So it's down, down, one, two, three, down, two, three, up, up, down, two, three, up. So we can do that upstroke accent instead of, even though the up arrow, that up, that big, bold pink accent is a higher up in the, uh, the notation there. It means the higher pitch. So it doesn't mean higher up in the drum. It, you can actually do it lower by cupping your hand and playing below the cup. So it's down, down, one, two, three, down, two, three, up, up, one, two, three, up, two. So as long as I'm playing below my hand on the other side, I'm basically making a small little pocket of tight skin there. So let's try number two of stage two. One, two, three, go, two, three, down. rolling over with my thumb and playing above my uh, my hand with my tipper for the downstroke accent but then rolling and using the bone of my pinky for the up number three down down one two three down up down down one two three down okay so i'm notating the up down up triplet a little bit differently here to test this out i think this makes a bit more sense in uh six eight nine eight twelve eight, in this kind of time signature we really are not playing a true triplet. So I'm trying to notate this as those two arrows that are joined together with the two little lines representing those as 16th notes. So it's down and I'm saying triplet, but it's not a true triplet. It's just our pet name for it. So let's try number three of stage two at a hundred. One, two, three, go, two, three. Down, down, one, two, three, down, up, down, 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 one, two, three, down, triple up, down, down, one, two, three, down, up, down, 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 one, two, three, down, triple up, down,
number four, I'm going to switch to first, and we're basically uh, just going to alternate that pattern so we can put a double end triplet. So whether you prefer double end or triple end, or double end or, or single end, you have uh, in these modules at least um, you know the opposite. So if you if you prefer to play double end, we can roll in the exact same place by going down, down one two three, down two three, up up one two three, up triple it down. Okay, so we're just putting a down top up triplet uh, where we have the up down up in the one before. So this is number four of stage two at 100 beats per minute. One two three, go two three, down down one two three, down two three, up up one two three, up triple it down down one two three, down two three, up. pattern to notice that if you prefer double end triplets then you probably need to have a, a good decent upstroke accent because those uh, between number three and number four you can see it's the same pattern but if you're not comfortable with the up down up triplet it's really handy to have a strong upstroke so it's good to have strong everything right but uh so let's try number five which is a it's like a tap down here so leading up to that beat seven we have a tap on six and accenting on so it's down down oh, sorry it's down up one two tap down two three down up down tap down two three yeah this one's a little bit of a tongue twister down up down up, tap down two three down up down up tap down up tap so there's actually we're actually saying down up tap twice right so it's kind of like that rocky road to Dublin. Down, up, one, two, three, one, two, three, down, up, one, two, three, one, two, three. But we're accenting beat seven. Down, up, down, up, down. That kind of thing. So I'm just going to switch my tipper. We're going to try number five of stage two at 100 beats per minute. Two, three, go. Two, three, down, up, 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 down, up,
exact pattern for number seven we're just going to turn it right upside down with the up the tap up up two three down two three up down tap up it's a bit of a tongue twister we'll maybe try this one a little slower so it's going to go up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up okay so let's try that maybe at 80 two three go two three up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three try that one with the foot okay we're gonna try that at 90 two with the foot one two three two go up two three down two three up down up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up okay and lastly we'll just push it to 100 i think about the metronome to work here <laughs> two three go two three up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down tap up two three down two three up down okay so those of you who have done a lot of mama data work uh, your hand is probably thanking you because uh, you're probably managing that one fine if you've done a lot of mom and dad work. So good, good for all of you who've done that, done the uncomfortable stuff. Okay, rudiments aren't always fun, but they <laughs> they, uh, they will reward you when you least expect it. Okay, so the next one, number eight, down to three, up to three, down to three, up to three, down to three, up to three. So there's just one and seven alternating at a hundred. Ready? Number eight, stage two, one, two, go. Down to three, up to three, 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 down to three, up to three. That's another nice one. If you found the favorite one that I mentioned, if you found found that down to three, up to three, down up, down to three, up to three, down up. If you're still working on your tap down, number eight is the one for you that you'll still get the same effect. It's more of a back and forth feel too. Do one, two, go. Down to three, up to three, down to three, up to three, down to three, up to three, down to three, up to three. Thumb rolling over down to three, up to bone of the thumb. Okay, so I'm doing that and that again. Try to two, go down to three, up to three, 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 down to three, up to three. Really nice. Okay, number nine. We'll keep it going. We'll put the single and triple it in here with the double tap down across in the bar line. Two, three, go, two, three, down to three, up to three, down up to down to three, up to three, down triple up, down to three, up to three, down up to down to three, up to three, down triple up, down to three, up to three, down up to down to three, up to three, down triple up. Down to three, up to three, down up to down to three, up to three, down triple up, down to three, up to three, down up to okay and lastly we'll switch tippers and do our double and triplet at 100 number 10 two one two go down to three up to three down to three up to three down to three up triple it down to three up to three down to three up to three down to three up triple it down to three up to three down to three up to three down to three up triple it down to three up to three down to three up to three down to three up down to three up to three down to three up to three down to three up triple it down to three up to three down to three up to three down to three up triple Smokes, Batman. If you're still here and you played through those 10 rhythms, you didn't just 
sit and watch the video, but you actually got your drum out and played along. Huge kudos to you. I see you. I acknowledge you. When I say drum on, that's my version of saying namaste. Like I see the light in you. I see the drummer in you. I see the potential in you. So that's when I say drum on. So I'm saying that to all of you who got your drum out today. Drum on, my friend. I'm so proud of you. Sometimes we don't hear that enough. I literally feel like I can feel the energy of people watching these videos each day. And it's from the comments below. So really leave me a comment below to tell me one of two things or both. Tell me which rhythm you connected with the most that you really, really liked. And also which one of the 10 rhythms challenged you the most. But you probably really like it, but it was hard. Okay. We want things to be, I want to give you things that are really outside your comfort zone because guess what? You're going to come back in a couple of months' time. You're like, oh my gosh, that was so hard. I have comments in my Keepers of the Rhythm course where people come back, they go through the course again and again. They say, oh my gosh, I can't believe I found this so hard a year ago. I, I'm just so much better than I was. And it's really exciting. So track your progress. If you don't have a practice diary, a little notebook of where you are, I would keep a note of that, okay? It could be just a random note on your phone. But if you don't have something like that, I would start. I have a whole video on that. I think it was about practice frustrations. Go back and like binge watch some of my uh, videos from earlier in this year. And there's all kinds of good practice tips there. So before you go, leave me a comment and also smash that like button. I know you're liking these videos. Everyone, if you watch to the end, I you must be doing something right. You and I are doing something right. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, because that's how you'll know when as soon as day five is live. I'll see you tomorrow and drum on.